Give me my money. I'm sick of being in your house. I don't care about you or our relationship. Just give me stuff. Give me, give me what you owe me. Right. Now, if you were that dad, what, what would you do? <laughs> Would, would you be, uh, kill him? <laughs> right? Well, uh, in, in those days, uh, a lot of times that's actually what would happen. Literally, like that kid would be executed. Or at least, at least he would be beaten. Okay, so... But this dad doesn't do that. Uh, he's, he's saddened, right? Ему, конечно, очень грустно. Right? You, you wouldn't be happy if your child said that to you. если бы ваш ребенок такой вам сказал, конечно, естественно, это было бы очень обидно. Я надеюсь, что вы своим родителям такого не говорили никогда. Right? So he said, but he says, okay. Но отец говорит, хорошо. And he gives him this money. Отдает ему деньги. It's the money that would be his inheritance. То есть это деньги, которые были бы его наследством. In other words. The son is saying, I wish you were dead. Because all I need is the inheritance. That's what that meant. So, he takes his money, he goes, right, and he has a party. Right, day, night after night after night. You know, he's getting drunk. Uh, he's going to prostitutes. Okay, he's he's doing whatever he wants. And he thinks he's having fun. Right? Maybe every once in a while. Maybe every once in a while he remembers his home. But then he just drinks more. To forget. Well, one day, his money runs out. Party's over. That's a good idiom. <laughs> Party's over. Party's over. All right. <laughs> um, so he has nothing. He's he's getting hungry. Uh, he's not at home. They're not just going to feed him. He finds finally he finds a job. Uh, but the only job somebody will hire him for is to feed pigs. Right. Does that sound like a fun job? <laughs> Has anybody ever fed pigs? And did, what, is, there, is their food still nice? <laughs> Not so much, right? So, so here he is, feeding these pigs, and for a second, He's so hungry, and he's so lost, he thinks, maybe if I had some of their food, some of this pig slop, Mm. How, okay, how low do you have to be to seriously consider eating pig slop? Right? This guy is on the bottom. Yes. Um, right? So... But then he's there and he remembers. When I was in my father's house, even the servants had plenty of food. Everyone was taken care of. I'm, I'm going to go back. Uh, I can't, I can't 
call myself his son anymore. И, конечно, я больше называться сыном отца не могу. I've sinned against him. Я согрешил против него. But I'm gonna go back. Но я пойду обратно. And ask him to hire me as a servant. И попрошу его взять меня на работу как слугу. So at least I'll have, you know. По крайней мере у меня будет еда, которую можно кушать. So remember, he had told his father, "I wish you were dead." Вспомните, что он сказал своему отцу уже, что я бы жевал, что ты был мертв. So he makes it. He starts going back. То есть он начинает идти обратно домой. And it says, while he's still a long way to distance. И написано, что когда он еще был вдалеке. Right. The father. Отец. Guys, father. He's looking out. Отец этого парня, он там глядел, выглядывал каждый день. He looks to the horizon. Смотрел туда в горизонт. Hoping. Надеясь. To maybe see his son. Who was lost? And this day he sees. Way down the road still. It, lo it looks like. It is. It's him. It's, it's his son. And it says that now, what would you do? И что бы вы сделали? Right, if this kid, если бы ваш ребенок, right, this punk kid, этот punk возвращался, who, who said, I hope you die, который сказал вам, я надеюсь, что вы уже, he thinks he, he thinks he's smarter than everybody, he thinks he's smarter than everybody. То есть тот, который думает, что вы умнее всех. Say that again. <laughs> he, th I know this. he thinks he's smarter than everybody, this kid. Okay. Right, and here he is coming back. Now, if if you were this father, what would you do? You'd probably stand there. Be like, mm-hmm. Hold you. Right, and and you better have a really good apology. And maybe I'll think about letting you come back. But that's not what this father did. He looks down the road. And he runs to him. Now you have to understand. In those days, rich men and this father was. According to the story, he was a rich man. They didn't run. They never ran. They paid people to run for them. Okay. They did not run. But this father sees his son. And he runs as fast as he can. And as soon as he gets up to him, the Bible says that he hugs him. He kisses him on the face, right? And uh, the son hasn't even apologized yet, right? And he and he called the father calls his servants. He says, "Bring new clothes." Right? Because he's he's filthy. Bring him my ring. Принесите ему мое кольцо. Back in those days, a ring was a symbol of authority. Был символом авторитета. By giving him his ring, давая свое кольцо ему, he was showing I accept you back as a son. Он показывал ему, что я тебя принимаю как собственного сына. Not not just as a servant. То есть не просто там слова теперь. Well, uh, this son hasn't even said anything yet. But then after this, he says, uh, you know, I'm not worthy to be your son. Uh, but hire me as a servant. Father doesn't pay attention. He says, he says to his, his other servants, he says, my son has come back. He was dead. And now he's lost. He was lost. And he's back. Well, there was two sons, remember? <coughs> right, not just one. That's kind of the part that maybe you've heard. Okay, but there was an older brother. And it says the older brother was out in the field working. Uh, and he hears this party going on in the house. Right, there's some, something's going on there. 
Да, что-то происходит. And he calls one of the servants. И он зовет uh, одного из слуг. And he says, what's, what's going on? Спрашивает, ну что ж там происходит? Uh, and he explains to him that your brother has returned. И слуга ему рассказывает, что твой брат, он вернулся. And your father is throwing him a party. И твой отец ему захотел right. сказать банкет. Because he was lost and now he's back. Потому что он был потерян, но теперь он жив. Wow. What do you think the reaction of this older brother was? He was angry. Right? He sat down in the field, crossed his arms, and said, I'm not going in there. Well, the father had to come out to him. Right? And he says, my son, why are you not joining? And he begins to complain. His son, the older son. He says, I have worked. I have sweated. I have done everything you asked me. Where's my party? Right? This son of yours. He doesn't even call him his brother. То есть он даже его не называет right. в этой истории уже братом. Он говорит, вот этот сын твой, он пошел и все потратил на, на алкоголь, на проституток. Right. Я все сделал правильно. Где же моя, где right. же мой банкет? The father says, и отец ему говорит, uh, Everything I have is yours. Все, что я имею, все твое. But it's right for us to rejoice. Но это хорошо для нас, это правильно для нас радоваться. Now here's what I want you to notice about this story. Но что я хочу, чтобы вы заметили по поводу этой истории. How many lost sons were there in the story? Сколько было потерянных сыновей в этой истории? Два. Two. Два. Right? One of them, the younger son. Один из них младший. Right? He said to his father. Он сказал своему отцу. Basically, I don't care about you. Just give me stuff. I'm not interested in our relationships. I'm kind of interested in what you can do for me. But that's about it. Right? And then he went and did whatever he wanted. But the older brother... He wanted the same thing. How do we know that? Because he says, I was working, I was doing these things, and you didn't give me. What does that mean? He wasn't interested in relationship with his father. He didn't care. He just wanted what his father could maybe give him, and that's it. Right? And the father had to go down the road to, to welcome back his younger son. Younger son. He went down the road to welcome his younger son back. Uh, but he also went down the road to, to call his older son back. Right? They're both lost. Here's the thing. Why did Jesus tell this story? Because God is like that father. <coughs> there are some people who just take what God has given them like the younger brother. And they say, I don't care. You know, yeah, I'm glad that I have stuff from you. <laughs> but that's it. I'm going to go do what I want with my life. Right? We heard, we heard kind of a couple of stories along that line tonight. Right? Right? Where, where people just said, forget about God, I'm going to do what I want. It doesn't end well. It doesn't end well. 
But there are other people who try to do the right thing. Do what you're supposed to do. Whether that's you know in the school or at work. Or, um, morality. But the reason they're doing it is to get something out of God. And both people are lost. Right. I mean, we look at the guy who's, who's a bum, he's, a, he's an alcoholic, he's a drug addict, he's filthy, you know, he's passed out in the grass on, by the sidewalk. Right, you guys see these people sometimes. You can see them in our city. Right. And you think, that guy is lost. Right. But maybe you're more like the older brother. You try to do what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Um, you, you keep some rules. Maybe not all of them. <laughs> right. But you try to be a, a good person. But you're not interested in relationship with God. Yeah, maybe you're grateful when he helps you or gives you something. But the truth is that you're just the same as that guy. The, the, the man who is obviously bad, He's lost because of his badness. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it works in English. Uh, but the, the, the good person can be just as lost because of their goodness. Right, or blagosti is this was an official slow one. Uh, so, right, so, uh, because either way, if you care more about what God can give you, than about God himself, then you're lost. Because God created us not just to be consumers. Right? He, he's not a mall. He's not a shopping uh, store. You know, so we can just come and consume things. Right? We, asked, we asked this question earlier uh, in the English course. Well, what does it mean that God's a father? It means that he wants relationship with us. Right. Now maybe some of you you know, don't have fathers around uh, or bad fathers and so maybe that's even hard to understand but a real father a good father uh, loves his children and wants to be there wants to, wants to have a real relationship and God wants that but here's the thing we're going to finish just with this. Okay. To bring that younger son back, somebody had, to, somebody had to pay. Who was it? It was the older brother. The older brother. Why? Because in those days, they divided the inheritance. Right? Now this younger brother, he already took his inheritance. It's, it's gone. Right? He blew it all. Okay, so everything that's left, by rights, belongs to the older brother. Only this older brother didn't want to pay the price. He, he didn't want to bring his brother back. Because his heart was evil. It was lost just like But the Bible says there is one true older brother. 
the eldest son. Saint. Uh, Jesus is the Son of God. And to bring us back, since we were lost, he had to pay the price. He gave up his inheritance. He gave up everything. So that we could be brought back in. Not just as servants, but as children of God. And all we have to do is receive that gift. It's a gift. See, the younger son wanted to earn his way back. Right? Let me work for you. It doesn't work like that. You can't earn your way back to God. Jesus already did that. All you have to do is say, okay, thank you. I want it. And if you say that to Jesus, the Bible says, there will be a party. Right? Christ welcomes you home. The God, God the Father is glad to bring us back. If you want that gift, just tell God you want it. He's already done everything to do. If you want to receive that, uh, we'd be happy, any of us here, part of the team, uh, we'd love to pray with you to receive that gift, if you want, uh, if you want to talk about it more, just interested, we'd love to talk with you. Um, uh, three things. Yes, three. Uh, uh, tomorrow, in the morning, uh, the team from Hungary is going back. So, we will miss them. Uh, but you can keep in contact with them. Uh, if you have Facebook, uh, most of them have Facebook. They don't have contact yet. <laughs> because that's only here. Uh, yeah. but, but, but Levi and I belong to the Soviet Union. So we also have contact. Uh, you can find us there. Um, so we'd love to keep in contact with you guys. Uh, English, Russian, <laughs> Slovenian. <laughs> All right. So uh, that's one. Two. 